Oh, it's a little obsolete. This spaceport is huge. It's hard to believe that the old Federation would set up a spaceport in such a remote place. Back then, this was constructed as a wartime reserve base. Although the location is out of the way, the core features are still in good condition. Do you mean the core features only need to be activated? Let's get started. We're still a long way away from being able to use the spaceport. First, we have to activate the spaceport's facilities. This is the spaceport hologram where you can check the status of the features and facilities as well as activate construction. Command Center. We can start by activating the simple flagship dock. Tap to activate the dock. This dock has deteriorated over the years! Huh. That's not important. The basic features are also here. We only have to make some small repairs. Laura, help me open the flagship's repair port. The repair port is open. Flagship. This is the flagship dock, where you can build and repair flagships. This is one of the core areas of the spaceport. Tap repair to repair the flagship. It's repaired! Helen, you repaired it so fast! After all these years, I have relied on my ability to repair ships for survival. Would I still be a naive girl if the war didn't force me to grow up? Just from looking at the quality of the repair job you did on the flagship, you're still a naive girl. Are you looking for trouble? The stock is badly damaged, and I can only cover the flagship to its most basic state. We will have a much better flagship when we get a better dock. The flagship is all set. Next, we should... What should we do? We've been wandering for so long, we have completely forgotten what a spaceport is supposed to be like. There is a spaceport development handbook in the database that was laid out by the old Federation. We need to follow the procedures. The old Federation disappeared so long ago. Can this handbook even be used now? Boss, isn't this an old Federation spaceport? What are you worried about? According to the handbook's guidance, we need to activate some of the buildings first. Command Center.
According to the instructions in the handbook, our next step should be to increase our battle power. We can activate the military dock to produce warships. Command Center. Okay, now we can build frigates, the most basic warship. My warship will be ready soon! Ship building. This is the military dock, where you can build and repair warships. Warships are an important battle power. This is another core area of the spaceport. Tap Start Building to manufacture a new warship. We've waited too long for this batch of warships. We're sitting ducks! We have a small amount of materials that can speed up building. Let's use some now. We can use speed up for building, production, and research. What should we do if we run out of speed up materials? We'll have to go explore and think of ways to get more. According to the handbook, we need to equip every ship with all kinds of weapons, but we currently don't have any inventory, nor do we have the corresponding production tech. We want every ship to be as powerful as they can be. Tech research is essential. We have already started to research tech. This will make our boosts bigger and better. The core features of the spaceport have all been activated. Other areas will slowly be activated along with the commander's exploration. remembering to cook and unexpectedly almost got beaten some of the residents here have been exiled because of war they won't do anything to make us look good but we are the rangers who maintain peace the demons of war obviously should be the empire whether it's the empire federation or us these sad people are all participants of war and we are the people responsible for them losing their home. <coughs> Alert! Unknown flying object found nearby. 
It doesn't look like an Imperial fleet from the size. Most likely, it's just some space pirates that have their eyes on us. These pirates flee between every spaceport, relying on non-stop plundering to survive. 